Today we're going to split a loop and slice it into MIDI. Here we go. The first step is to find a loop that you want from the song. It'll probably be one bar or two bar, something like that. I quite like this little section, so I'm going to use this. I'll just listen to it on its own. And now I'm just going to use the scissors tool to, uh, to snip off the beginning and the end. Press Command U to select the loop area to the selected zone. Now we've played it back looped round, I know that it's all in time. I'm going to carry on using the scissors tool to split it up into individual quavers, that's eighths of a bar. Now using a new instrument, I'm going to use the sampler, or the EXS24 if you like, um, on an old version of Logic. We're going to get rid of the synth, the mod matrix, the modulators, and just make sure the mapping is there. We're going to select all of the individual slices, and we're going to drag them into the window. Make sure you drag it towards the bottom of the map, um, so it creates just one note per slice. It'll do a little bit of bouncing down for each sample, and then it's there and you can try out the individual sounds on the keyboard. And then you can just have a mess about with it. Okay, time to put in a little bit of MIDI. On a new MIDI event in your instrument track, just create eighth notes just going up the chromatic scale. We'll loop it round and see how it sounds. You can then adjust the speed to whatever you want until it sounds about right for you. Now I'm just going to mess about with the order of the samples, transpose them to a random kind of selection of different notes to make the drum beat sound a little bit more unique. Now let's try experimenting with changing the length of some of the notes. and mess about to your heart's content. Have fun.